Are you ready to own a piece of the Autumn Beckman handbag collection? Now's your chance. Stay tuned for my vlog sale. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on my YouTube, on your YouTube homepage which is where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Today, I'm selling off a good chunk of my extensive handbag and small goods collection. I have pieces from Coach, Rebecca Minkoff, Amy Kestenberg, Hammett, Chloe, YSL, and yes, even Louis Vuitton. A couple of these, it hurts to even think about parting ways with them, but it may be time. I will of course show you all the items that are for sale. They are all listed below with the prices. Once something has sold, I will write sold next to it as soon as I can. But first, let's go over the rules and regulations. I wrote these down. They're not necessarily in order. I'm just going to go down the list. Prices include shipping and PayPal fees. Shipping will be through USPS or UPS, depending on the item. If you prefer a certain carrier, let's discuss that before you make payment, because if it's something that I had planned to ship USPS, but you want it UPS, may have to add a little more because their shipping prices are quite a bit higher. I only sell through PayPal invoice. I do not do friends and family. I do not do any other platforms for payment. If you don't have an established PayPal account, you won't be able to buy something from this vlog sale. Sorry. Also, the address that you have associated with your PayPal, the shipping address, has to be the shipping address that I am shipping to. I won't ship to a different address. I only ship to the United States. Sorry for those of you who are in other countries, but overseas shipping is a big hassle and a lot more expensive and a lot more things could go wrong. Everything is final sale in as is condition, no returns, also no payment plans. If you're interested in buying something, here's what you'll do. I have my email, it's autumnbeckman at gmail.com, listed below in the description box. So you would email me to let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in making the purchase. Once you're ready to buy, I will send a PayPal invoice to your email. So make sure that you give me the email that's associated with your PayPal. The invoice and sales will go first come first served. So whoever says they're willing to buy first gets the item first. Invoices must be paid within 24 hours. If it's not, then I'll go to the next person on the waiting list. On your invoice, I will put all the details about final sale, as is, no returns, if there's any wear or damage to the bag that I know about, I will list that. But I will also reference this video and any other videos that I have on the items. And I have a lot to go through today, so I'm not going to go into great detail about any of the items. So if you're interested, search for it on my channel and you can find videos on, on I think, on everything I'm going to be showing you today. Let's start with the handbags and work our way that way. First up is this Coach Emery bag. I think I only carried it once, so it is in pristine condition. Here's the spin, here's the bottom. It has this front slip pocket here. On the back, it has a zipped pocket, smooth zipper. It has this strap, which I currently have folded over to use as a shoulder strap, but it is actually a crossbody strap. And when I ship it, I will take the straps on all of these, anything that's a removable strap, I'll take it off and store it inside the bag. The top has a zipper and the interior looks like that. It has one slip pocket and that's it. This is the full size. There's also a 21 centimeter. I will also list the dimensions of all the items in the description box below. Included in the Emery bag are these two straps. You can replace that leather strap with these. Give it a little more versatility. They're leather on the ends and then fabric there. Uh, this one's tan with a dark brown and this one is brown with blue. And the leather on this brown and blue one is navy. This one is like a camel. This next bag, it may surprise you that I'm parting ways with it. This is one that I'm a little hesitant about, but I know I can replace it if I end up regretting it. So this is the Rebecca Minkoff Edie in the maxi size. And this is in the black leather. And it reminds me a lot of the YSL Lulu bag. The Emery bag reminds me, and a lot of other people, of the Hermes Evelyn bag. 
but it's more stiff than that. Here's the base. Here's the top. It has this leather and chain handle, which can be worn as a shoulder with a double chain, or you can pull it longer to wear it as a longer shoulder bag or possibly even crossbody. The back of the bag, this is one of the great things about this bag, it has a giant pocket, has a magnetic snap closure, and it looks like that inside. It has one strong magnetic snap on the front, and there's one main compartment with one zipped pocket there, and that's the only organization. I even still have the tag on this, although I have carried it a few times. It is definitely not in brand new condition anymore. It does have, maybe a little difficult to see, but it does have some corner wear there and this scuff mark here, and it may have some corner wear on the other corners, but it's not terrible. This is the worst one. And it may be difficult to see this, but do you see right there that kind of orangey spot right there in the middle? That's a little scratch. And hopefully you can see that on the camera, but in person it is not noticeable at all because the hardware is so shiny that it just catches the light and reflects things. So it just looks like a reflection. This also has a scratch you can see right there. And I think that's the only flaw. That's not a deep scratch at all. And it's on the back of the bag, so it's not noticeable. As far as I know, that bag has not gone on sale at all. Next up, the Coach Cassie. This one is in taupe with the silver hardware. It's a pretty sought after bag. I was looking at all of these items on eBay and some other sites before I did this video. I only saw one of these. The Cassie, of course, is very similar to the Pochette Matisse. It has a back pocket here, slip pocket. It has a turn lock closure with the C there. You open it up and it looks like this. It's the same layout as the Pochette Matisse. It does have the crossbody strap inside. So there is the organization. It has the one center pocket, the back pocket and the front pocket. It also has a zipper there and a slit pocket right here. This bag, I think I carried it twice and it is, as far as I can tell, it's pristine. This next one may surprise some of you too because it was in my most recent video. That might give some of you the impression that I just got this bag, but I've actually had it for a few months and I have just never used it, mostly because it is too heavy. I have back problems and it's just not something that's practical for me to carry. And that is the Coach Soho Mia Tote, the smaller size in the color tobacco. Very pretty bag. I love the braiding. You can go watch the video about this. Uh, it is 15 years old, so it does have some wear. It's got some corner wear. It has some natural discoloration. The leather will change color a bit over time. It's lighter in some spots and darker in others. Looks like there's a little spot there some scuff scratches there. These pockets are magnetic. The strap is adjustable. It includes the coach hang tag. It has a zipped top and it has a fabric interior with a D-ring and see there's a zipped pocket on one side and two slip pockets on the other side. Autumn 2006 is screaming at me not to get rid of this but it's just too heavy for me. This may also seem like a recent purchase because the video went up recently, but I have had this for several months. The Coach Legacy Zip, the 9966. It's in black with brass hardware. It has been restored by the person I bought it from on eBay. It has feet. The strap is removable and adjustable. It has one big slip pocket on the front. It's similar to the Emery, but wider. It has a leather pull tab on the brass zipper. Inside it will come with this pillow and a dust bag as well. Also anything I can find a dust bag for, I'll include that. The interior looks like this and it has this one big slip pocket as well as a zipper. Actually it has three slip pockets, two are like for pens and then the big zipper. Beautiful bag, but I have gotten really into vintage Coach and this one is just not my favorite of all the ones I have. It's also a bit heavy. Next is the Coach Gallery Tote. This was an outlet item. I think all the other Coach items that I have are from the boutiques. It has these two straps. This bag is very similar to the Louis Vuitton Iena bag. A lot in common with that bag. These two straps are on um, like hinges so they fold completely flat when you put it down. It does have a top zipper and it has little pull tabs to help you pull the zipper more easily. It also has this zipped compartment up front and it even still has the paper inside. 
I just recently carried this. I've had it for about a year and I've just carried it the one time. I just cut the tags off a few weeks ago and carried it and discovered it's just not for me. It comes with the coach hang tag. The interior is lined with fabric. It has the big zip pocket on the back and two slip pockets on the other side. This bag is in pristine condition. Next up, the Stodd Moon Bag in the large size in mock crocodile. It's a beautiful bag. It's very unique. Very interesting. I just recently showed these on my channel in a collab with Yota Style. And I had three moon bags. I'm keeping the other two for now, but this one I found just not for me. Not something that I reach for, although it's very cool. The interior is suede and there's a zipped pocket there. It has a little magnetic closure, but that magnetic closure is pretty useless, really. It is quite spacious on the inside. This bag does, I didn't notice this until sometime after I purchased it. It has a scratch right there and then another one right there. They really blend into all the other lines in the bag. It's really not noticeable at all. And if you think it is, you can just turn it around to the other side. Very cool bag. This one is sold out. If you're looking for something different and big, this is for you. Next up is another Rebecca Minkoff Edie bag. This one is in the color Acorn, which is like a burnt orange, perfect for fall. And it has two-tone hardware here, silver and gold accents throughout the bag. It's very pretty, it's soft. I have never carried it, it is brand new. It's also very difficult to find. So if you're into Edie's and you like orange and the two-tone, it took me a while to find this one and I was looking online before this video, could not find another one. Saks has one that's about the same color, but it was just, I think, silver hardware. It wasn't two-toned. This is in the large size. The black ED that I have over there was the Maxi. There is another one that's smaller than this. It's almost half the size. It's basically the same structure as the other bag, the Maxi size. It has a magnetic slip pocket on the back, big pocket has a magnetic closure on the front, strong magnet. The interior is a little different. You see it's still stuffed like it came. It has a dust bag in the back. There's a zipped pocket back there. There's a zipped divider and there's a front section. It has the chain and leather strap that looks like this. You can have it doubled to carry on your shoulder or have it longer to carry crossbody. Fantastic for fall, beautiful bag. I love the ED bags. This is just one I haven't carried. Next is an item that it will be difficult for me to part with, which is partly why I have it priced the way I have it priced. It is the Louis Vuitton Petite Noé in Epi. It's a vintage bag. It's in black. It is gorgeous. It's not pristine because it is quite old, but it is really in spectacular condition, especially considering its age. I have added a few things to it. I've added this short strap. It does still have the original long shoulder strap. I've added these snap hooks to it so you can make this strap easily, more easily removable. I've also added this little slide to make it easier to keep the bag closed. The drawstring is original. This little handle is from Mauto. It alone was about $50. And then I also have this little tassel that I'll throw in with the bag. To open it up, you just pull the slide down, open the bag up. The interior is just one cavernous space. It's suede, it does not have a D-ring or anything else inside. It's very clean, no stains and things in it. It does have a few scratches and scuffs on it, but it's difficult to see them. There's one right here here and I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera. It's just really hard to see any flaws on this bag. It's beautiful. These two corners, probably hard to see this too, have a tiny bit of corner wear. And then these are the other two corners. I mean, it's really minimal. It's a gorgeous bag. It's in fantastic condition, especially for its age. It's probably, as far as the Epi Noe bags go, the vintage ones, probably in the best condition I've ever seen one. I hate to part with this bag. I just never reach for it. I find that when I want a drawstring bag, I go more for the coated canvas than for the leather. The Epi is a little bit stiff. It really holds its shape well. And you'll see, like I looked on Fashion File before I did this video, and a lot of the vintage Epi bags that they have are more kind of mushy. And this one is just, it keeps its structure perfectly. There's nothing inside of it right now helping it stay in place. It's just like it is. Next I have this crossbody bag. It's a little pouch and it's in burgundy 
and it has this crossbody strap. This bag and the next one I'll show you are both vegan leather, which means they are not leather, but they are so soft that they feel like lambskin. It's a very soft, supple, um, thin, but not too thin material, whatever this actually is. It has a magnetic closure here, and I do have air paper inside to keep it stuffed because otherwise it's just a smooshy lump. The interior is the same material as the outside of the bag. It's just a big open space. This is the same bag but in navy. Here they are next to each other. The burgundy bag is larger and the navy is the medium size. And there they are side by side. These have no flaws. They're in perfect condition. I don't think, I think I've carried each of them once. I may have carried this one twice. There's the inside of the navy bag. They have no pockets, no structure at all, but they're really beautiful and they are unbranded. Next is the Amy Kestenberg Tabitha mini backpack. This is in black with cute little rock and roll stars all over it. Love it, love the big chunky zipper. This has a handle on top and it's not actually a backpack. This one, this size is a crossbody. So it comes with this crossbody strap which is not removable, it's sewn into the bag. And I got this to be a crossbody bag that I could carry when I'm walking the dogs, but I ended up getting a Thacker bum bag instead, and I like that a lot better for it. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I haven't carried this since I got that other bag. This strap is adjustable. It has a back slip pocket here, and with the zipper, just take that down, buttery smooth, very smooth zipper and you open that up to reveal a leopard print interior and fabric. This little piece here is just to keep your things from spilling out the front. It's just a protective space. It's not another pocket, but it has this big open space here, and then there's a slit pocket in the back. And it's a really cute little bag. The quality's great, and it's in pristine condition because I think I only carried it twice. Next is this Hammett VIP bag. It's very cute. It's black with silver hardware. It has mock crocodile on the bottom here. And then the top is this sparkly stuff. It has a bit of a texture to it. Uh, it almost feels like tiny, tiny beads, but it's not beading. Hard to see, but it says Hammett right there, stamped into the bag. It has these gunmetal, almost black rivets on both sides. And the front opens with two magnets on the end. The back of the bag has a slip pocket with the red interior that's signature to Hammett. This front flap has a zip, and once you open that, it goes about that far down. So about that far down with the red interior. And in that pocket, I think it's specifically made to put glasses. So that material is soft enough to have your glasses in there. Once you have it open, there's another zipper to get to the main compartment. Inside there, I have it stuffed and I also have the crossbody strap, which you would attach to these two D-rings. The interior looks like this. It has a card slot there. It also has two slit pockets on the other side. Hammett makes really beautiful bags if you've never seen them before. They are high quality. I love the materials. This one I have never used. I think the next size up would have been better for me. It is beautiful, well-made, made in the USA and California. If you're not familiar with this brand, I recommend it. Definitely a luxury bag. The last handbag I have to show you is a coach. It's the Micro Tilly bag. It looks like this. It has two D-rings on the back and a slip pocket, little top handle. It says coach in metal on the side there, just on one side, not both. It's like a Saffiano leather. It has feet on the bottom, has the turn lock closure. Open that flap and it's like a micro suede inside with one big open pocket. Comes with a crossbody strap. I have a dust bag in there with something in it. Let me check that out in just a minute because I'm not sure what that is. Probably the hang tag. So there's the interior, no pockets or organization, just that small space. What's in this little bag? Yes, the coach hang tag is in there. So I will go ahead and leave it there for whoever buys it. Now keep in mind if you buy this to wear it. I, I have never worn it. It has just sat on my shelf. I bought it as a little decorative piece so it is pristine. But keep in mind the D-rings are both on the back of the bag so when you hang it from those it's gonna hang a little bit but when it's up against your body it lays straight because your body supports it. That's all the handbags. Let's move on to the SLGs. My nemesis, this Chloe cosmetic pouch. I encourage you to watch the video that I have on this. I will link it next to this item down below if you're interested in this piece because it does have some damage to it that's hard to see on the screen and then you can see how it works too if you watch that video. So it has these two zippers that open up. 
and then you pop open the pouch. I'll show you that in a minute. There's the base. It does not stand up on its own. It kind of leans over, so that's really annoying about it. And the damage, which just doesn't come up well on camera, is that some of this gold leather here is flaking off at the bottom. I think this cosmetic was originally $400. I do not have it priced anywhere near that because of the damage. And let me show you the interior. So it says Chloe there, and then it's just a big open space. But you can see how that zipper works, where you have to zip it on each side and then open it from the middle. So there's that. I also have this little coach wallet. This is what I carried during COVID. I had it in the back of my clear bag and just had my cards in there standing up so I could pull my cards out without getting into the bag. It has a zipper here. Uh, I did use this quite a bit, but it's still in great shape. It is a little bit stretched out. I mean, it looks, the back of it, the leather here looks like it's used, but the rest of it looks new. It looks great. Don't see corner wear on it. It is from the men's line at the outlet. The Coach Microtilly, I forgot to say, is also an outlet bag, but a popular one. This piece is also from the outlet. It has the brown CCs and the metal Coach, and it is the Coach 5 key holder. So it has five places to put keys. It also has this key ring with a snap where you can take the key ring off completely. It has this space here, and then it has these, it has this little sort of secretarial pocket, I think that's what it's called, and then this slip pocket. It's a pretty versatile piece. It's a kind of difficult to find piece. It's something that's in demand. I know I've had a lot of people ask about it. So if you're interested, now's your chance. I just don't use these key holders. I try them every once in a while. That's the second one I've tried and I just don't use them. Next, another piece from Coach. It's this Twilly in the party animal design. Very cute. This was, this was on the outlet, but I think it may have been a boutique item because I know they had the party animal pieces in the boutiques but maybe they have them at the boutiques and the outlet. I'm really not entirely sure about that. I just know that I bought this from the outlet online. It's cute, it has some little gold sparkles in it, and it's the same on both sides. It has the animals on both sides. I do remember that this piece was kind of hard to get, sold out pretty much immediately, and I had to keep refreshing my cart and it finally popped up. But I never use it, so I'm gonna pass it along. I also have this Louis Vuitton bandeau really beautiful if you like really light pink colors which i do i just never reach for them so it says louis vuitton here this is the flower ink bandeau and then it has this kind of dusty rose lv on the back the monogram print it's so pretty very long and skinny and it's one of the nicer silk bandeaus that they have kind of particular about the louis vuitton silk bandeaus because some of them i don't think are the best quality but this is one of the nicer ones I have noticed that this one, you can tell wrinkles. I've had it tied around things before and the wrinkles just don't come out like they do in some of the other silks. This is a very, very difficult to find bandeau. It almost never comes up on the pre-loved market. So if you're interested, snag it before someone else does. Pretty sure I can find a box to give you with this. Next up, a bag charm from Coach. This is from the Basquiat collaboration. It's brand new, it still has the tag on it, and it's quite a large bag charm. It's as big as my hand here. It's like six or seven inches long. It says Empire there with the crown in thread, and on the back in thread it says Stopped in Transit. It says Coach Basquiat on the back. This is another piece that's a collector's item. It's very difficult to find. Let me tell you, I was looking on eBay at this item today and they're going anywhere from between about $120 up to $250 because people price gouge. I'm gonna pass this one along to you guys at retail price because I know there's some people who would really love to have it more than I would love to have it, and I wanna help you out. I have two more pieces. They are both from YSL, and they're both brand new. I've had each of these for about a year. I've never used either of them. The card case in white with gold, and I will say that when I say white, which I think is the official name for this, it is not actually white. It is a little bit of a creamy color. Here it is against some white tissue paper so you can get an idea of the color. Beautiful, brand new, two card slots on the front, two on the back, the center compartment, no wear at all, no scratches on the gold hardware, perfect condition. I have the dust bag for it, pretty sure I have the box for it, 
And then my last piece. This is another one that it's difficult for me to part with, but I have never used it. The logical side of me says it needs to go. Even though it's beautiful and it would be almost impossible to replace because it's very hard to find, the YSL bill pouch in gold with gold hardware. <sighs> She's spectacular, she's brand new, perfect condition, pristine, shiny, beautiful, gorgeous. Look at this, amazing. It has a pocket on the front. I just don't know what to do with it. It's just not a practical piece for me. Zipper on the top, the inside, it has a tag there that says YSL and it has a slip pocket. I mean, I hate to get rid of such a beautiful addition to my metallics collection, but, but I feel like the funds could be better used elsewhere. I believe that's everything I have for my vlog sale. Remember, everything is listed below and all the instructions are listed below. So if you're interested in anything, just email me and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.